What's up everybody, S Craft Blends back again with another barber tutorial and today we're going to do kind of a mid to low skin fade on my man Jared here. He came all the way from Massachusetts to get a haircut, booked with me a couple months ago uh, just to come get laced. So I decided I was going to go ahead and record this haircut using my Oster Octanes for the Clippers. So I started out with a two and three fourths blade on my Oster Octanes. As most of you guys know, I just kind of move through, get the bulk out, kind of lay a foundation uh, and then come back in a little bit later doing some detail work. However, I feel like, you know, whenever you use this blade system the way I use it, I feel like it lays a really good foundation and leaves minimal uh, detail work to be done so once again i'm using the two and three fourths blade just to kind of fade right into that top off the parietal ridge area i feel like that two three fourths blade is really uh man it's a good blade it mows through bulk and it gives it just the right length that i was looking for and there again up in the parietal ridge area we may not blend completely into it perfectly but I can come back in later with some clipper over comb or something like that. So now I have the three zero blade or three op blade on there coming in and creating a guideline. I didn't want to come in just with the five zero blade and create this harsh guideline. So I just started with the three zero blade. So once I do three zero blade, I can always bald out underneath that and kind of blend into that three zero. However, we're starting with that three zero and then we'll skip the zero a which is the next blade up and we'll go right into uh, the number one blade so that's what I'm using right now so I went from the three zero creating that first guideline to a number one and we're gonna give it about an inch uh, you know part there as far as an inch section in the back may make it a little fatter because I didn't take the time to make the lines as clean as could be a little little wobbly you know what I'm saying a little 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 crooked but that's okay it'll come out in the end so same thing on this side and usually whenever I'm not recording I just work my way all the way around the head through the whole cut um, it just works better in the videos I try to do sections so I don't have to mess with the camera as much so now that we did the number one section now we're doing a one and a half a one and a half blade and we're gonna do same thing just create another section about an inch wide above that and we're gonna work our way all the way around the head now there again normally I would do the whole fade all the way around the head you know just not taking one side fading the next which I'm gonna start doing that in just a little bit because messing with the camera was taking too long for me um, however see whenever I'm on this side then I'll I'll go ahead and switch the blade there to a number two blade blending into that two and three fourths and then I would usually do that all the way around and then while I'm on the other side, I'll switch the blade, work my way all the way around ba uh, back the other way. However, because of the camera angles and switching and all that stuff, I'm going to start from this point on just working the different sections of the head. So we're going to stay on this side and pretty much blend this thing out. So I did the number two into the three fourths. Wasn't getting the cleanest blend that I wanted. Uh, so I decided to go back to that one and one half blade and just kind of fade into that number two. And now I'm just dropping down. So now I'm going to go into the number one and I'm going to start under that line and just kind of flick at that line blending into the one and a half blade. Some people might think this, you know, is kind of difficult with a different blade system. However, I feel like once you 
take the time to really sit down and just look at the blades figure out the length of the blade and then go from there um, it's pretty simple so right now I move from the number one a blade to the number one blade so let me let me run that bag for you because I think I might have said one earlier but which was really a one a so I did two and three fourths and knocked down all the bulk I started with a triple zero blade to set my first initial guideline and then I skipped the OA blade and went to the number one skipped the one a blade and went to the number uh, the, the one and a half blade and then you know I hit that number two just trying to tie the one and a half into the two and three fourths and then I started working my way back down so the one and a half a one a and then a one and then uh, a OA and now I believe I have uh, the OA on there right now just tapping at the bottom I was just working my way down switching through the blades and then in just a moment I'll put that triple zero back on there and just uh, tap at that bottom line and then I'll put the five zero on there hopefully I'm not confusing you guys um, but the reality is you have a five zero blade or the blades that I have a five zero a three zero an OA a number one a one a a one and a half a two and a two and three fourths those are the ones I'm using in this haircut so when I'm working up I was skipping just skipping different blades and now I just work my way back down using pretty much all the blades I don't always do that you can watch other videos that I do um, and then I'm I was hitting it with that five zero blade just kind of tapping at that bottom line and then I'll just use my trimmers to uh, clean everything up kind of touch up this front line up I don't like my front lines to 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 be like really extreme and uh, and because it's a little bit lighter towards the top there and the bottom's a little fuller I don't like having that real hard slant so I, t I do tend to take a little bit out of that bottom section so I can make the the, the vertical bar you know slanted but not crazy slanted some people might say well you push it back well that's fine with me I don't like it to look crazy slanted that's not my style so then I'll come in shave the bottom and uh, and now we have a good foundation on that side I can always come back in you know and, and just do touch up work with either you know my detail clippers or with my shear over comb but you know basically we're just gonna go ahead and leave it for uh, what it is right now a good foundation and we'll touch it up later so in the back I'm doing the same thing remember we already did the two and three fourths so I did a number two uh, right under that two and three fourths now I'm dropping down a little bit doing the one and a half blade again and then I'll drop down to the number one so I went up skipping blades there again started with the triple zero skip the the zero a went into the one skip the one a went into the one and a half and now I'm gonna hit every blade on the way down and if you watch other videos on the way down I usually just use the blades that I skipped on the way up but this one I'm just using all the blades on the way down so right now I have the number one blade on there or 1A rather, just switch to the number one. And as you can see, I'm just kind of doing a fade down technique. I'm just dropping slowly and just uh, grabbing a smaller blade as I drop down towards my first initial guideline until we fade it all the way out. there again I may see you know some lines here and there and that's okay just as long as my lines are all flowing together because I can always knock those lines out I just want to make sure that the length is pretty much all staying consistent all the way around the head so I went back to the zero a blade after the number one and then now I'm doing the five zero 
just trying to tap at that bottom line and I see some dark spots I can come back in and, and tap but right now I'm just trying to work my way through this haircut knowing that we can always come back and do detail work at the end and that's something I always try to tell everybody knock out a good foundation and then come back in at the end and detail it I, I just believe that's a good way to do it so now we have the five zero on there just tapping at that bottom line trying to blend it in as good as possible and then we'll use the trimmers and the shavers to uh, shave out the bottom as you can see when I see dark spots I use the corner of my blade to tap at it other people might ask too what part of the blade are you using are you leaning more of the pressure towards the teeth of the blade or towards the middle or towards the back of the blade I tend to stay right in the middle area and kind of float it um, however sometimes I do uh, switch to the teeth or to the hilt of the blade as well so there again we had our sections where we had the two and three fourth all the way up to the top and then I did the triple zero skip the OA did the one skip the one a did the one and a half so then I just went ahead and grabbed that number two to blend in uh, you know the top as best as possible now I have the one and a half blade on there just blending into that number two then I just put on the one blade or the one a blade rather and uh, blending into that one and a half and then in just a minute I'll grab the uh, the number one guard or blade and I'll blend into that one a and we just work our way down <clears throat> hopefully this is making sense to you guys so this is my number one blade now there again just kind of working my way down trying to uh, use those guidelines I made earlier as reference reference points to where I need to be using the corners of the blade just to tap at any dark spots now dropping lower I have my 1A blade on there or excuse me 0A blade on there and just uh, tapping at that bottom line and just kind of blending up into that that number one that we did same thing now with the uh, the triple zero blade just dropping below that line flicking into that OA and then I'll do the same thing with my five zero I'll drop a little bit lower and I'll just flick right into that triple zero blade that I'm using now so here's my five zero blade and there again just dropping a little bit lower trying to flick right into that triple zero using a lot of corners of the blade uh, I feel like that helps you not create any harsh lines and look we haven't even done any detail work on this side and it's looking pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, hit that front area there towards the top of the vertical bar you can see it almost looks like it dips there there's some light hairs there that I uh, didn't want to take too far back in that area so I just went ahead and went straight up with it and figured I'd hit it with some color enhancement to kind of fill that spot in a little bit so now that we did the trimmer on the bottom we're gonna hit it with a shaver and now I come back in with either my gammas my ergos or with my JRL uh, 1000s and I just come in and do you know some light detail work just tapping at any lines or dark spots that I see trying to get that blend as consistent as possible and I'll do that all the way around and uh, now he wanted to trim a little bit off the top I'm using my new JRL 2020s with the fade blade on there people ask me all the time what I think about them I love them I think besides my detachables which I really love because they are unique and I just like using detachables these are my favorite clippers at this point which is crazy because my wall seniors have always been my go-to like favorite clippers but these uh, JRL 2020 especially with this fade blade on there I'm really really digging man I, I really like them so I'm now I'm just coming in combing uh, over any of the longer hair that might be hanging over 
doing a little clipper over comb action just trying to blend it all together a little bit better um, and then we'll come back in with sheer over comb and do some detail work and you guys know I like to use the points of my shears just to tap at dark spots and I'll I'll keep doing this I'll go around the head and I'll just hit any little dark spots that I see with the tips of my blade and, uh, and just try to make this blend come together so we're gonna go ahead and throw some paste in his hair um, give him a you know a little texture up top with that paste and uh, then after I put the paste in I like to go back in and you know kind of clean some stuff up as you can see as I'm showing him the mirror I'm looking in the mirror at the same time and I'm seeing things that I want to touch up and then I'll come back in uh, towards the end and uh, haircut's pretty much done but now I just like to go around and start tapping at anything that I see that created a shadow or just um, you know needed to be touched up in any way to give that last finishing touch before I let him out of the chair so I'll do that all the way around getting uh, you know the most consistent blend that I possibly can and as I take my eyes off of one thing and look at you know with fresh eyes I feel like I see things but as I go around detailing man that thing's getting blurry you know what I'm saying it's looking good but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll try to put some more out here in the future it gets challenging because I'm running out of new customers uh, but we'll figure something out anyways God bless you guys make sure you follow me on Instagram at s period wait what is it s period craft underscore blends with a z God bless you guys peace out